Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to filter a database query, using an URL parameter. We have a products page, where we list our products, in a repeat region. We also created a details page, where detailed information, about the selected product should be displayed. In order to do this, we will create a dynamic link, in the repeat region on the products list page. In our previous tutorials, we've already explained you, how to create a repeat region, so we won't show this again. Click inside the repeat region, in our case we are repeating a table row. Open the insert menu. And select hyperlink. Add text for the hyperlink. And click OK. Then, select the hyperlink, we've just added. And add a dynamic attribute. Open the links menu. And select, link. Click the dynamic data peeker button, in order to set up the link. Open the type drop down, in the data picker dialog. And select template. This allows us, to insert a value using both static and dynamic expressions. We enter the static part of our link. This is the link to the details page. It contains an URL parameter named ID. We will use this URL parameter to filter the query on the details page. Then, select the value that needs to be passed to the details page. In our case, this is the product ID. And our link has been successfully generated using both static and dynamic expressions. Click Select. And we are done with the products list page. Open the product details page. Open the server connect panel. And create a new server action. Add a name for it. And then, Expand Globals. Right click, Get. And create a new variable. Let's call it, Filter. Then, right click Steps. And add a database connection. Load, or create a database connection. Then, right click the database connection step and add a database query. Set up the query options. Select and add the table which stores the details for your products. And then add the columns you need. Open the filters tab and add the column you want to filter your products by. In our case, we will use the product ID column. Then Select the dynamic data picker for the filter value. And under get, select the filter variable, which we've just created. Then, click select. And click OK. Save your action file when you are done. And open the App Connect panel. Insert App Connect to your page. Before defining the URL parameter, we should add an app ID. Then, click the Define Query Parameters button. Right-click Query. And add variable. Here, add the name of the URL parameter, which you want to use, in order to filter the product details query. It should be the same, as the one used in the dynamic link earlier. In our case this is, ID. Click Save. Now, as we've already defined our URL parameter, let's add the dynamic data. Click the Add New Component button. Under Data, select Server Connect. Then, select the Product Detail Server action, which we created earlier. Click Select. And now, we have to assign the value of the URL parameter, which we've just created, 
to the get variable, which we are using, to filter the query. Click the dynamic data button. And under query, select your URL parameter. Then click select. And we are done. Now, bind the data, which you want to display, for the selected product. We do not need a repeat region here, as we will only show, one product at a time. Click insert binding. Under server connect, data, expand your query. And select the data binding. Then, click select. Do the same, for the rest of the info, which you want to bind on this page. Let's preview the results. Select a record, click the details link, and you can see the detailed page, filtered by the URL parameter. That's how easy it is, to create a details page, using DMX Zone App Connect.